mission failed. We'll get them next time. What's going on guys, Havoc Nard, back with another video, today we're going to be showing you guys some more Clash Royale gameplay. So right now we're on Havoc Jr., my mini account, it's just my second account, it's level 9, and we just made 3,000 cups, so you know what that means, we get a special pack for the first time on this account. Well, not for the first time, but you know what I mean, like for 3k cups. Okay, so this one is the Hog Mountain Valley pack, we have 100,000 gold, 1,200 gems, and we have one legendary chest, all for 10 bucks, we have to buy it. Yes, you can say that I am spoiling this account, but that's a great offer right there. So let's go ahead and donate some barbarians here, and let's go to the shop and get this bad boy. Now, before we do that, I just wanted to go ahead and mention that I am missing a ton of legendaries. I don't actually have like half of them. I'm missing right now the Ice Wizard, Bandit, Electro Wizard, Night Witch, Graveyard, and Mega Knight. So we're missing like all, pretty much all of them. So I'm really excited to see if we can get at least one that we don't have. So let's get right into it. All right, so we're all set. Let's see what we have. Hopefully it's something good and it's going to be the what is it going to be the lava hound damn it uh why supercell you know in every chess opening video i get something i don't want so i guess i should just stop recording <laughs> i don't know it just maybe i have bad luck but at least it's going to level two so that's not that big of a deal it is going to level two so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now we also have the gold and the gems so we also had the lava hound in the shop right here which i was anyways going to buy so i guess we saved ourselves forty thousand gold now the bad part about it is that i don't actually have anything to upgrade like there's nothing to do here everything is up to date this account is just there's not much going on so i guess we're gonna go ahead and do the lava hound to level two there we go and we need around two thousand more xp to go to level 10 which i'm really excited for so let's go ahead and open up around i think we can open two three magic i mean giant chest uh we can open around two of them so let's go ahead and go with the first one we have some gold battle ram freeze royal giant and some heal spells let's go with the second one gold mortar prince going to level three four and finally we have some wizards so what do we have going to the next level here we have the heal going to level four. Oh, that's going to level five okay so let's go ahead and do that right now we have the mortar so i'm just gonna do everything because we have so much gold and i don't have anything to spend it on so wizard going to level six and that is pretty much it we only need around 1500 more xp to go to level 10. so unfortunately that is pretty much it for our offers here we're gonna hop into some tv2 matches because in this account i haven't done really any tv2 matches if we look at our attack lock here we have a bunch of ladder matches i've been on a winning streak and then sometimes i just lose three times in a row so i've been using this deck right here i think it works very well it got me to 3k so if you guys are struggling to get to 3k definitely try this deck right here you kind of do need the miner in this deck so you know if you don't have the miner i would actually go with this deck right no not this one uh, where is it this one does have the log but i'm pretty sure you at least have one or the other so miner log you know now i'm pretty sure a lot of you are wondering where's the face cam in this video but i'm having a bit of a problem with my mac like when i pop on the face cam it starts to lag and i think it's because my mac just has too much stuff in it so i think i'm gonna have to clean it before i actually do more face cam videos for today unfortunately there is no face cam so while i was talking about that we got wrecked right here by that mega knight i think we can do a comeback but i don't know we're level 9 and the opponent is level 10 and yeah i don't think we're gonna be uh winning this one okay that was a pretty good game i guess let's go for the next one here so two oh no i pressed battle by mistake oh damn it okay level 10 i think we're going to lose this one guys i am not prepared to go against level 10s because my zap first of all my zap is like level 9 or 8 and a lot of people up here have it to like level 11 so it's not fair for me like i'm not gonna lie it was pretty hard to get to 3k um so yeah, I really do hope we win, but I don't think it's going to happen. All right, so we have a Mega Minion, we have a Witch, we have a Miner on that tower. It's going to go down very quickly, but with those Fire Spirits, it's going to pretty much destroy my push. So we have the tower down to around 625 
not too bad. Actually, more than I expected. Let's start off with the giant in the back right here, and let's place the witch or the baby dragon. It really depends. Oh, damn it. Graveyard. Okay, so uh, let's deploy the witch here. Let's use my zap here. Uh, I was definitely not ready for that graveyard there. That came just really unexpected. So we have an ice wizard on the giant on the right tower. Let's go ahead and let that just do its job because the giant will get a few hits on that tower so that's pretty good and we also have the left tower which is going down with uh, lumberjack right there so we're on a win right here i think let's drop our miner for the right tower that's gonna take it down i'm pretty sure that yep there we go and now i think it is up to him to defend himself so which right here he might get one tower because i know that that graveyard push is pretty beast so yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, so baby dragon, let's drop a lumberjack. I, ah, uh, come on, lightning, here we go. So I'm gonna lightning that hog rider. I'm gonna zap those skeletons. That tower is gonna go down, but I don't think he's going to get the right tower. I don't think there's enough time to cycle to his graveyard and hog rider push. So I think we have it under control here. So which, we have a baby dragon, unless he deploys something crazy, which I haven't seen yet, but... I don't think that's going to happen. There's 15 seconds left, so this one is a win. One second left, and there we go. The match is over. I did not expect that win, but hey, I'll take a win any day, so plus 31 trophies. Now, I really feel like doing some 2v2 battles, so let's go for a 2v2 here, even though the first one was a huge fail. But yeah, I like 2v2. It's probably a little bit better than uh, ladder right now for me, so... Let's go ahead and start off with the baby dragon. Okay, so they have a okay, so they have a giant skeleton push, uh, which is going to wreck everything. Right? Yep. There we go. We have a witch going in right here, and it looks like he's gonna deploy a wizard. So let's deploy our miner and the goblins. Um, yeah, they didn't survive. All right, so we're off to a pretty slow start here. Uh, so let's drop the baby dragon here. We need to get in there somehow. So we have the elite barbarians going in. We have a mega minion and a baby dragon. So if we can just get that baby dragon to go to the tower, that would be awesome. But they have like a defense for everything we drop. I don't know. Still have about 30 seconds left for the overtime. So let's drop the mega minion here. Let's drop the lumberjack for that giant skeleton. Definitely don't want that to go to our tower because the damage it does upon death it's insane okay so we're close to the double elixir so i'm gonna drop my giant finally in the back right here and we can start off with a nice push so he's gonna do his own push there let's drop the baby dragon mega minion so this push is not going to work for them but i'll drop my miner here just in case they drop that in front of tower there and it looks like we only have a giant push here it's not looking so good so we have to go with plan b if we do have a plan B. I guess the bad part about using this account as well is that I'm so used to my lightning doing so much damage that when I use it on other accounts, I forget that it doesn't do like over 400 damage. So I think on this one, it does around maybe 300, 350. Okay, so we have some goblins here. Uh, we just need to get rid of that inferno tower right here. So let's drop the lumberjack. Hopefully he can just run over there and do his job, but they do have a giant skeleton again, so this is not looking so good right here. Let's drop a miner, and we have some elite barbarians going in, so zap, and come on, just take down the tower, come on, hurry up. Actually, we have a lightning right here, uh, oh, there we go, the witch just clutched that match for us, even after they said thanks, what was it, they said thanks or good game, something like that, so there we go, the match. That was a pretty good match. All right, so now I think I'll switch things up with this deck right here. This is my second favorite deck. Let's go ahead and go into a 2v2. Luckily, this time we didn't click battle by accident. So this guy is rocking an all legendary deck. I'm not a big fan of when people do this because, you know, sometimes it doesn't work or they don't know how to use it. Let's just hope he's not, you know, showing off in that sense. So uh, we have an Electro Wizard. We have a Mega Minion. Probably not the best time for a graveyard, buddy, but, um, yeah, like I said, the graveyard, that was a really horrible time for that. You gotta go slow with it, you know what I mean? Alright, so log for those barbarians and the witch, uh, their push is going to fail, so goblin gang, we have the baby dragon, they're probably gonna have a zap or something here, oh, fireball. Alright, giant and musketeer, this is looking pretty dirty, so let's deploy the mega minion in the back here, we have a night witch on the giant, 
it's looking pretty good we have a witch mega minion night witch it's looking pretty good for us so let's drop this uh fireball here for the wizard at least it's going to do some damage and then let's drop this log to take it out and also do some damage to the uh regular witch now we do have a golem but the only problem is i haven't had time to drop my um my elixir collector so oh no probably not the best time right now i didn't see those barbarians coming but let's drop the baby dragon here Hopefully that does something to the Barbarians. Oh, there goes my Golem. You know what? At least we have somewhat of a push going here. So let's drop our uh, Fireball to predict. Yes, Fireball is going to come in clutch right there. So we only need a bit more damage. And there we go. The tower is now down. I don't know. Some moves of this guy is pretty weird. Uh, but let's just keep at it. So let's drop the log right here. Uh, to take care of those barbarians just a little bit the golem is going to make it to the tower right there so let's drop the fireball we have a baby dragon inferno dragon and will that inferno dragon take out the tower uh no it didn't okay so baby dragon and come on luck make it over there come on get in there five seconds left and there we go their fireball wasn't going to do much anyways but uh, yeah, that was a pretty good game. But guys, I think that should be it for today's video. Shout out to my mini clan right here. It is full, but I always give them a shout out. Wish I had space for some of you, but at the moment it is full. So yeah, sorry about that. Nonetheless though, I really do hope you guys enjoyed and I want to thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Tell me what you guys think below in the comment section if you like too. See you on the next one. Peace!